welcome to your introduction to Arduino. I have with me a handy laptop. In my pocket I happen to have an Arduino, a USB cable, standard, a green LED, a red LED too. What are we going to do with this Arduino, this USB cable, this computer and two LEDs? Prepare yourself, this is going to be one of the wildest rides of your entire life. So this is an Arduino. It is such a cool device. You can do so many amazing things with it, um, even though it's incredibly cheap and incredibly easy to use. Um, thank you so much to the guys who have created the Arduino because really it's one of the easiest ways to create a physical computing, some kind of thing that's sensory and responsive um, in the world today. So what's cool about it is that thing over there, that little tiny black thing, that is actually called a microcontroller. Um, it's it's got very little memory and got very little processing power but what it's able to achieve with that tiny drop of processing power and memory is phenomenal uh, what it has over here this little sort of weird oblong can that's called a clock and that thing pulses at 16 megahertz which means 16 million pulses per second now if you think about how many times you can count in one second it's definitely not 16 million it's uh, one through about like five you can get from one to five in one second this can get to one to 16 million every single second that's phenomenal so what's happening is that can is busy talking to that tiny little black thing over there that little microcontroller and it is basically saying hey pulse so do something pulse so do something pulse so do something 16 million pulses per second means 16 million potential do some things in one second and um, the other things you'll recognize of course are this thing over here a little usb connection and that over there looks like a power jack uh, you can plug in all sorts of power from about 6 volts up to, I think, 18. But don't trust me on that. It's worthwhile checking that on the internet. Um, the other really interesting things that you should note about this uh, board is if you look in this position here, that top line of, of, of pins have numbers associated with them. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then down here you have one that goes A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. And then you've got a couple more that are about power, some voltage, some ground, some uh, other kinds of voltage, etc. Now the top pins are actually, they digital pins. What that means is they can turn themselves on or off, or they can read things that are on or off. Um, that's what we mean by digital, something that's either zero or one, on or off, true or false. That's digital. The stuff at the bottom, however, these ones that are A0 to, A to A5, those are analog inputs. What, mean, what we mean by that is it, you can read an analog value. So if you think about what my voice is doing, it's changing in volume and pitch and all sorts of things. Those are analog qualities. So if you think about it in terms of voltage, um, voltage is changing uh, uh, as my volume or whatever else is changing as well. So that is something that the analog input could potentially read. Or if you're using a sensor like a light-dependent resistor, like uh, in one of our kits, the DIY Gamer. The light dependent resistor changes its resistance value and therefore how much voltage can go through it based on how much light there is. The analog, the analog input can actually read that change in voltage and give us a number that we can actually use when we're programming the Arduino. Because of course, what does 2.5 volts mean to us? It doesn't mean anything. But the value 128 or 512 or 5611, that value can actually mean something to us so we can do something with it in programming. So that's the very basic intro to what this board does. Uh, let's plug it in and see what happens.